Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about Spearman's rank correlation. This is taken from Unit 7. This is my Part B video. In my Part A video, I have discussed about Spearman's rank correlation when ranks are given directly. So, in this video, suppose if when ranks are not given, only marks has been given and you have to find out the ranks and that too the marks are not repeated so that the ranks are also not repeated. So this video will be useful for BSc Nursing, Post Basic BSc Nursing and students who are studying MSc Nursing. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic what we are going to discuss in this video. As I have told earlier, correlation coefficient, already I have posted video on correlation coefficient that is Carl Pearson correlation coefficient with its example sums up and also I have posted on Spearman's rank correlation when ranks are given directly. So suppose if they have not given ranks and when they have given marks you have to find out the rank and you have to do the calculation. So that only we are going to see in this video. So here in an example sum for that is they have given subject 1, subject 2. So find out Spearman's rank correlation. So they will not give, uh, uh, sometimes they will give calculate Spearman's rank correlation. Sometimes they will give only rank correlation. If they are, that rank is a clue for you. If they are asking rank correlation means you have to find out by means of Spearman's rank correlation. So let's see in subject to 1 which can be considered as X and subject to 2 can be considered as Y. So subject 1 the marks are 40, 46, 54, 60, 70, 80, 82, 85, 87, 90, 95. Subject 2, the marks are 45, 46, 50, 43, 40, 75, 55, 72, 65, 42, 70. So as I have told earlier, X is considered for subject 1 and Y is considered for subject 2. Then we can see X value, Y value, uh, we have to write the subject 1 values in x you have to write and subject 2 values in y you have to write respectively. So after that after writing x value and y value from the given data uh, what you have to do you have to find out rank of x and rank of y. So first rank of x. So here 91 no it is 95 is first rank 90 is second rank 87 is third highest mark so it is third rank 85 is fourth highest mark so it is fourth rank 82 fifth rank 80 sixth rank then um, 77th rank 68th rank 54 9th rank 46 10th rank 40 11th rank so in this way you have to found rank of x so next after finding rank of x similarly you have to find for rank of y so here in rank of y which is the first mark yes 75 is the highest rank so you are giving one for 75 next which is the highest mark yes 72 is the highest mark so you are giving second rank for 72 next which is the highest mark 70 is the highest mark so you are giving third rank next which is the highest mark 65 is the highest mark so you are giving fourth rank next which is the highest rank 55 so you are giving fifth rank next which is the highest mark 50 so you are giving sixth rank next which is the highest mark 46 so you are giving seventh rank next is 45 is the next highest rank so eighth rank is 45 next is 43 is 9th rank, 42 is 10th rank and last rank 11th rank is 40. So in this way you have to find out rank of X and rank of Y. So after finding rank of X and rank of Y the same procedure only as when ranks are given directly how you have calculated. So if you have not watched that video part A video I have given the link in description box suggested end card and I card or you can watch our channel playlist nursing research and statistics or exclusively for statistics also we have given playlist up. So next you have to find the difference that is D is the difference between Rx and Ry values. 11 minus 8 is 3, 10 minus 7 is 3, 9 minus 6 is 3, 8 minus 9 is minus 1, 7 minus 11 is minus 4, 
6 minus 1 is 5, 5 minus 5 is 0, 4 minus 2 is 2, 3 minus 4 is minus 1, 2 minus 10 is minus 8, then 1 minus 3 is minus 2. So, in this way you have to find out the D values. Next, after finding the D value, what you have to find? Yes you have to find d square value d square how you will be finding yes d d value if you are squaring you will be getting d square so 3 square 3 into 3 9 3 square 3 into 3 9 3 square 3 into 3 9 minus 1 square minus into minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 minus into minus becomes plus minus 4 into minus 4 plus 16 5 into 5 25 0 into 0 0 then uh, 2 into 2 4 minus 1 into minus 1 1 minus 8 into minus 8 plus 64 minus 2 into minus 2 plus 4 so in this way you have found out all the d square values so after finding all d square values next thing you have to find out sigma d square how you will find out sigma d square add all the d square values so when you are adding all the d square values 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 1 plus 16 plus 25 plus 0 plus 4 plus 1 plus 64 plus 8 the answer is 142 so you will be getting the answer 142 so now you substitute in the formula rho is equal to 1 minus uh, uh, 1 minus 6 into sigma d square divided by n into n square minus 1 what is n n is number of observations so here how many observations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so totally there are 11 observations so you have in the n you have to substitute 11 so 1 minus 6 into what is sigma d square yes sigma d square is 142 so you have to put 6 into 142 divided by n how much i have told 11 11 into 11 square minus 1 so 11 into 11 square minus 1 so 1 minus 6 into 142 is 852 6 into 142 what is the answer 852 divided by 11 into 11 square how much 11 into 11 is 121 121 minus 1 uh, you have to find out so 1 minus 852 divided by 11 into 121 minus 1 is 120 so you have to put in this way next to 1 minus 852 divided by 1320 so 1 minus 852 divided by 1320 is 1 minus 0.645 so when you are minusing it 1 minus 0 0.645 gives what 0 0.355 so 0 0.355 or you can round it to 0 0.36 so your answer is 0 0.36 or you can write as 0 0.355 so here the only difference is they will be giving marks you have to find the rank of x and rank of y and you, rest of the procedures are all same when ranks are given directly how you will be doing same procedure you have to use in my next video i will give the marks which are repeated so that the ranks are also repeated no in such a case how you have to use in that way you have to use some correction factors formula will be slightly different for those things so that I will be dealing in my next video. So here in x values as well as in y values no marks has been repeated. So easily you have found out the answer by finding out the rank of x and rank of y. Suppose if marks are repeated the formula is different. So we will be seeing Spearman's rank collision with repetition of marks or with the tie. Hope this video is clear for you all. If you like my video, please give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel. My previous videos link I have given in description box, suggested end card and i card. Or you can watch our channel playlist, nursing research and statistics or exclusively for statistics also we have created a separate playlist, statistics for BSc nursing students. Thank you friends, keep supporting to Science Easy Tech channel.